You are a sheem. I don't know what that is. Hope you never kill a patient. What? I hope I never kill a patient either. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new around here, my name is Michael, AKA Dr. Chlaney, and I am a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist in New Jersey. Should I restate that? I'm a board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist in New Jersey. That's right, your boy passed his written and his oral board examination, and I am officially a board certified, well not board certified, I am a double board certified diagnostic and interventional radiologist. Who would have thought, look mom, I made it. So I just wanted to get that out of the way before starting this video. I didn't wanna do an entire video about me getting board certified because I don't even know how I would talk for that long about being board certified, but nonetheless, I passed both the written and the oral board examination. There's two boards, pass them both, and I'm officially board certified. It feels good. I feel like that's like the final step of this entire process, and now I'm officially official. But you may be asking yourself, Michael, but on this video, you said that you weren't a good doctor in the title and the thumbnail. That's not really true. That's just what people have been saying lately on one specific video. That's the majority of what this video is on, is about that video and some of the comments left on that video. And let's go ahead and just go ahead and jump right into it because it's a good one. Let's go. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the meat of this video. So on, ironically, February 14th, Valentine's Day of this past year, I posted a video about all the things that grossed me out in the hospital while working in medicine and all that stuff. It was a great video, it did really well. A lot of people loved it because it showed that doctors are human too, and that was the whole point of making that video, right? However, a lot of people in the comments misconstrued it as unprofessional and how dare I do this kind of stuff. So I wanted to kind of jump into some of those comments because a lot of them were pretty mean and a little hurtful, but you know, when you guys hit me with the hate, it just like bounces off me. But nonetheless, I thought it'd be a good idea for you all to see some of these comments and kind of see where I'm coming from because a majority of people agreed with me. It's good to kind of talk about this stuff because a lot of people don't talk about it. And my whole goal of this channel that I've said a million times now is I just want to normalize physicians being human. Just because we're physicians doesn't mean we're not human. So let's go ahead and jump into some of these juicy comments, shall we? Oh, if you didn't watch that video, watch it at the end of this video or pause this video to watch it. It's all the things that gross me out in medicine. It's a good video, a lot of people liked it. Maybe you will too. So pause this, go watch it, come back. Now let's get to the comments. So just to kind of start things off here, I'm just gonna jump into like <laughs> the worst comment. Well, it's not the worst, it's all of them are bad. Dear Dr. Cellini, I would never have you as my physician. You can't deal with poop and vomit, the two things that everyone has suffered with and you just can't handle it? What good are you as a physician? The answer is you have no redeeming qualities. Now, how could someone write that about me when A, they don't know anything about me, Two, all I did was talk about a few things that grossed me on the video. And three, now I have no redeeming qualities because I get grossed out by vomit? I mean, come on, that, that's, this, this is just so insane to me because what people don't realize in these comments who are writing these kind of things is that yes, everybody has a certain thing that grosses them out in the hospital, whether it be a nurse, whether it be a doctor, whether it be a physician assistant, whether it be a certified nursing assistant, whatever it is, someone always has something that grosses them out. Could be vomit, could be poop, could be urine, could be, I don't know, whatever you want. The difference is when people keep calling me unprofessional and how dare I can't handle this stuff that these people are missing is that you as the patient would never know that I was grossed out by whatever you're doing. Because even if you vomited all over me, which has happened before, I mentioned in prior videos, you would never know that I was grossed out and wanted to internally combust. <laughs> because that is what a professional does. A professional is just deal with it. They have a straight face, a poker face, if you will, and you just deal with it. That's what people in the comments don't realize. Just because I'm talking about these things doesn't mean I'm a terrible physician. It means that I'm just being open and honest with everybody else and everybody else that works in healthcare can relate to what I'm saying because we all feel this way. But the difference is, I'll reiterate, even if I'm grossed out by whatever happens in the hospital, the patient will never know, and that's key. So now that we got that out of the way, let's get to the next juicy comment from my lovely subscribers. Actually, these probably aren't subscribers, they're just like randoms that pop on here. There were like 1.6 thousand comments on this video. This is a good one. Are you a doctor? What are you good at? Not people skills. Shaking head my. <laughs> 
shaking head my. So how is this person judging how well I am with people? And I, I actually think I'm pretty good with people and I have pretty good people skills now that I think about it. And I think some of the people I work with would probably say the same thing, but it seems to me that Michelle Fields is shaking head my and doesn't think I have people skills because of this video. I'm shaking my head. I'm shaking head my. Another lovely comment. Shame on you, me. You should have never entered the medical profession. Hope you never have a child. Hope you never kill a patient. What? Time you seek a good shrink. Now, I don't even know what to talk about on this comment. So, I should have never entered the medical field because I'm grossed out by like one or two things. That's incorrect. Everybody in the medical field is grossed out by like at least one thing. If you're not, you're like a superhero. Hope you never have a child. I guess I see the, where they're coming from on that sailing vessel, Juliana. I think I see where sailing vessel Juliana is coming from because they're basically saying that kids are gonna be pooping and peeing all over me, so hope I never have a kid. But I hear all the time people that are grossed out by this stuff, they have kids and like they're like, whatever. Now I feel like that's the same. Now this is where it gets interesting. Hope you never kill a patient. Now, I don't know what poop and pee has to do with killing a patient, but I hope I never kill a patient either because I wouldn't ever do it on purpose. But uh, yeah, let's just, let's just hope. Next. Oh, this is another good one. Danny says, you are definitely in the wrong profession. Am I? Patients don't ask for their medical conditions. They are disgusted and embarrassed with themselves. If you can't handle comforting a patient when they are at their worst, you are not an advocate for any patient. Mm. That sounds very uh, Marilyn Monroe-esque. If you can't handle me at my worst, then you shouldn't get me at my best or something like that. It continues though. And if you think the patients don't notice the subtle little signs of disgust you have, you are so wrong, mister. <laughs> because they do notice it, they do. You are a sheem, I don't know what that is. You are a sheem to the medical profession. And I hope one of the superiors sees some of your videos. It breaks my heart you would say such things. Well. Danny, I'm sorry that it bothered you that much that I get grossed out by vomit. I'm very sorry. I think you should find another line of work, Meredith Miracle says. If I'm that ill, the last person I'd want to see is you. Me. I don't know. I feel like a lot of people want to see me. My patients like me. I would not be comfortable with this man to be in charge of my care or someone I care about, says Dana Edwards. He seems insensitive and cold. Or am I just human? Food for thought. Jacqueline Sh... Scrip, scrimagor, scrim, 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 scrimgur says, I feel sorry for your patients because you signed up for this and probably the patient is so mortified that they have done this and could not help it. I'm glad you are not my doctor as you would make me feel afraid that something like this could happen to me through no fault of my own and as embarrassed as I am, I would know that you are disgusted with me, I'm disgusted with you, for something that I had no control over. Jacqueline Schrimager should use some commas and some periods so I know where her line of thought is there, but nonetheless, I'm sorry that you don't want me as your doctor. Maybe you'll never have me as your doctor. This is not a great advertisement for your practice, lol, Lotus says. In fact, I think it's very unprofessional. Is it unprofessional? I don't think it's that unprofessional just to talk about something that everybody else talks about behind everyone's back or behind closed doors. This stuff goes on. People don't like things. People get disgusted by things. It's okay to talk about it. I mean, this is 2021, we talk about things. People relate with what I'm talking about and it makes other people feel comfortable. That's why I'm doing it, people. That's what I'm doing. I'll be the sacrificial lamb, that's fine. You have a lot of nerve making a video about people that you are supposed to be helping, Terry Bader says. I do, but I'm not making a video about anybody. I'm just making a non-specific video. I'm traumatized that you are a doctor, Rebecca Dubois says. Who has more aversions to normal, natural body functions and processes than that of a child? Look, I mean, I, I don't think I'm gonna keep reading the, oh wait, this is a good one. I will keep reading them. He's so arrogant, when you're a doctor, you do not talk about patients like he does. Again, I'm not talking about patients. I'm just saying globally, I don't like to be vomited on. I mean, that's not something crazy to talk about. But now that we got all these terrible comments about how awful of a doctor I am, let's get to one positive note, or two positive notes actually. One, I had no idea how many people had an aversion to vomit out there. Like I do, so it feels good. I swear like half these comments were like, oh my God, I have a metaphobia too. So shout out to all the metaphobia folks out there. I feel your pain. Next screenshot. Now on to one of the good comments I saw while I was reading through all these negative ones. This kind of unlocked a new uh, fear or a new thing I haven't thought of in a while. And in the video I said comment below 
what things gross you out in the hospital. And this person, Mario Navarro said, skin flakes gross him out. And that got me thinking. Skin flakes are like low key gross. You don't think about it much, but they're kind of gross. And it reminds me when I read that comment, it reminds me of when I was volunteering in the emergency department in downtown Atlanta. And my job was to take care of the stretchers. I would clean the stretchers and put the new sheet on them. And I'll never forget so many times I would clean the stretchers and they would be covered in skin flakes. You know, when you're like have a wet wipe and you're wiping dry skin flakes, it like doesn't really go. But nonetheless, that kind of unlocked something I haven't thought of in a while. So thank you very much, Mario Navarro. And also, while I was looking at some of these comments, it unlocked a memory that I haven't thought of in a while. And I figured I would share it with you to end this video to end on a light note because things we experience in healthcare are very disgusting, but at the end of the day, that's what makes it fun. We get to bond over disgusting things. I mean, Andreana and I, when we first started dating, we would be like changing very large, gross wound backs on huge wounds. We would be like changing it and we would be like, you know, kind of flirty with each other while we're changing the wound back. I mean, it's disgusting, but like you you become numb to it after a while. So nonetheless, I'll leave you with this. So when I was on my emergency medicine rotation, when I was a med student, there was a patient who pulled into the emergency department with their car out front in the uh, ambulance bay. Her husband was in the car. She rushed out and I had no gloves on, and she handed me a Tupperware container full of bloody stool, and she opened it while it was in my hand so that she could show me what her husband was pooping out. I'll just leave you with that one. <laughs> this is the kind of stuff you experience working in healthcare. So, on that note, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you don't already. Let me know if you like this video, and uh, tell me how much of a terrible doctor I am in the comments below. I'd love to hear it. If not, you can give me some positive vibes too. I love positive vibes, but I just did this video because I thought it was funny and I wanted to kind of clear the air that, that this isn't an unprofessional thing to talk about normal things in the hospital. Let's make this normal. We're just, we're just talking so other people can relate. And that's what this video is for. The whole point of my channel is to show that everybody in healthcare is also humans. I know we're called superheroes, especially during this pandemic, but we're still just human at the end of the day. So I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.